6 Jobin Panther live tonight at Capel High School. So Jobin, in this latest case, a Hispanic student was targeted, right? Well, if you ask some students on this campus, they would say that this letter is very troubling. Others would say it is a joke, but the district today made it very clear that this will not be tolerated and that students could face discipline. It's the last place you want to see the divide, even if just one incident here at Capel High School. I just like saw it, read it, and then like scrolled past through it. Taken off in social media, this so-called goodbye card that some parents and students tell us was sent to a Hispanic student, hinting at deportation. I'm starting to feel that this wasn't just something to get at that kid personally. This really was, I mean, a true racist feeling. I don't know. I just get like a <laughs> sense of hatred from them. With parents' permission, News 8 spoke with students who say the card was derogatory to Hispanics. One line reading, y'all were a blessing when it came to building the new arena. Another line, we are very sad our school will not be very clean anymore. The last page reads, make America great again. Adios. Capel ISD says it appears to be real. A spokesperson for the district says it will take disciplinary action because it violates the student code of conduct. The district wouldn't say much more. Everybody should be acknowledging that there's an issue. We need to talk about this and open up about it. Students like Nicholas are hoping for action, especially after some have characterized this goodbye card as a joke. It's disgusting and it's distasteful. And Hector and, uh, Flores is with uh, LULAC, a Latin American activist group. They are asking for a meeting with the district over the matter. It was meant to, uh, uh, to hurt people, to hurt their feelings, to make them less than they are, uh, to not uh, recognize them as equals. The group is hoping that meeting happens Tuesday. It is one incident of the divide, happening one too many times throughout the country. Jobin Panicker, Channel 8 News.